So today I want to talk a little bit about the guy we have on the screen right now. That is obviously Yike. Um, now that we have heard that G2 Skewmond uh, does seem like it is verbally agreed for for the 25, 2025 season. Seems, uh, you know, pretty much locked in at this point uh, without anything crazy or silly happening or whatever. Uh, it does seem like obviously Yike is going to need to find himself a new team. We previously reported that Yike is going to be available out there with no buyout, uh, which should hopefully help him uh, have a pretty smooth transition to his new home uh, in 2025 because obviously it does seem like there is a strong market for Yike. Obviously, he's being replaced by G2 um, because, not because he's bad. He was good. He was one of the best, if not the best jungler in the LEC in 2024. Um, but obviously, G2 has different aspirations. They have international aspirations. They want to uh, try and be better than they are right now. Um, and sometimes it's not even just the fact that a player is better or worse. Sometimes it's just how a player fits in a team specifically. And if they don't feel like their team specifically can go to the next level with Yike, that's why obviously G2 is going to move on from him. But uh, there's going to be a lot of teams that would love to have the services of Yike in the jungle. Uh, and in this video today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what some of those different options are, what we're seeing so far um, from some different places and, and sources and stuff like that and how all of those could look. Because like I said, uh, we had uh, Yike, uh, based on our Sheep Esports rankings, ranked as the number one jungler in the LEC uh, for all of 2024. He was obviously very strong. You can see here his win rates and KDAs on a bunch of different champions. I mean, this guy was really good. There's obviously some questions about, can he play this champion at an international level? Can he play that champion? Whatever. I know uh, during Worlds, I saw um, some people having some questions about his Lilia and stuff like that. Even though, hey, in the LEC, this guy was 100% win rate with 11.57 KDA on Lilia. But uh, guess what? Sometimes jungling against... Uh, whatever team jungling against heretics or whatever is different than jungling against uh, top esports or uh, Weibo or whatever. So, uh, like I said, obviously G2, they accomplished everything this year. Yike accomplished everything this year. They were uh, all very, very strong. But also the argument can be made on the other half where, hey, when you are jungling with Caps and BB as your solo lanes, like, hey, uh, you might end up looking a little bit better than you actually are. So who knows? But uh, these are the things we uh, have gotten kind of from Twitter recently. This is from yesterday, I believe, October 20th. Yes. Uh, Giant X Jose. Uh, co-owner, co-CEO uh, for Giant X. He tweeted out this. Uh, he said, hi, Yike. I'm writing to you because I believe you're at a crucial point in your career facing a decision that could change everything. I'd like to share my thoughts on the situation in case it helps you. We know uh, there are powerful teams in France with very good uh, and big fan bases that are fighting hard to sign you, but you've already played for a French team uh, and you need new experiences in your life. There's nothing like playing for a team with Spanish and UK roots and sharing the passion we have for this with our, with our staff and fans. Imagine this. You join Giant X, lead the team, and alongside Jackie's, uh, the rookie of the year in mid, you create an unforgettable partnership. Together, we can aspire to win the LEC and show everyone that G2 made a mistake with you. Our fans, who are some of the most passionate in the scene, will support you every step of the way you'll become a legend for them and legends are always remembered and celebrated i know a change like this can feel risky but the rewards will be worth it if you believe in your potential you'll never regret choosing giant x i won't uh take more of your time but i hope this helps you make the right decision a big hug see you soon hashtag we are giant x now obviously this is heavily inspired by is slash even you know somewhat memeing uh what we saw it during the recruitment of jojo pune because we got this big long post uh from revan who apparently is a content creator for uh mavi star koi uh where you know he did this whole thing uh, hi jojo pune and you know similar type beat to uh what jose is saying here uh and then we also had you know the spanish fans uh coming out in big force uh behind uh this thing and, and obviously we we did from what we've kind of heard at least from what he by is claiming is that hey, the, the support of the fans and, and the outreach and the people showing how passionate they are uh, maybe inspired Jojo Pune a little bit. Maybe he swayed him a little bit in the right direction. Maybe Ibai is just saying that to get the fans excited or whatever. Um, but obviously this is, uh, you know, based on that a little bit. But there also is some truth to this. Obviously, it's not just a meme because they are recruiting him actively because Wulu then chimes in here and says CEOs leaking themselves which players they want lately. For context, Rogue, Giant X, and KC, K Corp, obviously, are the teams interested in Yikes in the LEC since all others have locked jungle. Now, I did think this was funny because below the post, obviously we have a ton of the, uh, we have Yankos right now uh, feeling a little bit sad because um, obviously Yankos is one of those other junglers that is fighting for those uh, couple open positions we have left in the LEC. There's, there's not very many. The LEC offseason is moving so, so fast. Uh, but we also do have a ton of K Corp fans uh, down here and French fans replying, you know, making fun of uh, Giant X or saying our fans, you know, making fun of their fan base. And then we also have these, uh, you know, Yike and Casey jersey edits. Uh, I went through the 100 plus comments 
comments looking for Giant X fans uh, cheering for Reich and your team. I'm still looking for one, uh, which is absolutely hilarious. A, a nice little roast there from uh, the you know K Corp stand. Uh, he doesn't answer you by phone anymore. Uh, people showing uh, the KC event, the KC fans, everything they put on. Um, so a bunch of crazy stuff. We're getting that full out, uh, you know, French versus Spanish rivalry coming in with the Giant X and the K Corp and all that stuff. Um, I love seeing the passion. I love seeing the fans go at it, but yes, ultimately, Yike is this very, very talented jungler um, that has some big teams, some big names, and some big fan bases going after him, uh, and there are some very interesting matchups here with a lot of talent and potential. Obviously, uh, ending up on K-Corp would mean uh, partnering up, obviously, mid-jung duo, huge thing. Uh, going to K-Corp would mean partnering up with Vladdy in the mid lane. I believe this guy is a 19-year-old. Uh, obviously, K-Corp very excited about him, very excited about his future. Um, we can also take a look at the rest of the K-Corp team because we do have uh, the rest of the roster locked in on our Sheep Esports Transfer Hub right now. Uh, with Kana up in the top lane, Vladdy, Kalista, uh, and Targamas rounding out that roster. It does seem like we have officially locked Targamas for the uh, 2025 season as well. I know there had been some talk about, uh, you know, K-Corp maybe, uh, I, I don't know. There were some people saying like, oh, K-Corp should get Mickey or whatever. Uh, but but yes, it does seem like uh, the other four members are locked in there. So again, if you slide Yike into this team, is this team, how good could this team be? I don't know. Vladdy and Callista obviously have bright futures ahead of them. Uh, Kana can be a beast at his best. And obviously the biggest question mark there is maybe Targamas. Uh, I know some people are excited about him returning to form and coming back strong. And some people are like, hey, is this guy washed? Does this guy suck? I don't know. We'd have to wait and see. But this team on paper at their best in their peak forms would all be very, very good because we've seen Targamas be a beast before as well. So I don't know. This team looks pretty fun. Would they be able to go to Worlds? Would they be able to compete for titles? Would they contend with, you know, G2, Mad Lions, Koi, these other strong teams we're seeing put together in the LEC? Uh, that's up for you guys to debate for sure. Obviously, if you went to Giant X, you would be paired up with Jackies. Uh, this guy also very, very exciting, very talented guy that many people assume has a bright future ahead of him. Uh, but the bigger question mark here is that Giant X uh, has a much... Uh, less full picture for their roster in place. Now, uh, obviously, if you lock in, if you start to lock in some strong players on your team, maybe that could help you uh, recruit some other players. And Yike is a great talent that I'm sure there's other people in the LEC that would love to play with. Um, yeah, I don't know. Here we have much less information about what's going on, I guess. Obviously, Giant X is one of the teams that could actually bring Yike and Mickey together. Um, I, I know I asked Wulu a little bit about that during our live stream. It's like, hey, do Yike and Mickey want to play together? And what Wulu said was pretty much like, I don't think they're opposed to playing with each other. I don't think they would mind playing against each, uh, with each other. They're not, uh, it's not like they like butted heads on G2 or anything like that. And uh, there are some teams that have been talking to uh, Yike and Mickey together. So Giant X is at least one of those potential landing spots. Obviously, K Corp can't take Yike and Mickey if they have Targamas as support uh, already. So that is a potential landing spot for them to go together. And if you have a core of Yike and Mickey on your team, your team's going to be talented. Your team's going to have a chance. I'm not saying that if Giant X gets Yike that they're going to get Mickey as well, but that's at least one possibility. Uh, and then uh, obviously uh, just even building that team around Jackie's is something very, very exciting there. Uh, and then obviously, uh, as Wulu talked about, the last possibility we have here, I thought I had the Wulu tweet pulled up somewhere. I don't know. I, maybe I clicked off of it. Um, but yes, Wulu talking about Giant X, K-Corp, and then Rogue uh, being that last potential landing spot for him uh, with obviously Larson, uh, Yike and Larson mid-jung duo could be very fun as well. Y Larson maybe not coming off the best individual season, uh, that he would have liked to have in 2024, but uh, obviously getting a great jungler to pair him up with could definitely uh, potentially help him bounce back in 2025 in a big way. That could be something cool to see. We know Larson at his best is a beast. Larson at his best is uh, one of the best players in the entire LEC, even if he ne wasn't necessarily that in 2024. Obviously, the only weird thing going on with Rogue right now in the big question mark, we heard from Wulu as well, um, that Rogue can't like officially lock in any players for next season right now because they're still dealing with, uh, you know, like maybe selling their spot, selling all that stuff. There is still so much negotiation going on behind the scene. They are still talking to players. Uh, sounds like Rogue is, again, one of those teams that could uh, potentially be going after both Yike and Mickey. Uh, so, hey, another landing spot where those two could be going together. You you have a team of Yike, Larson, and Mickey. That could be really fun. That could be a very, very strong team. So, uh, yes, there are a ton of LEC rosters that are already locking. A ton of spots filling up quick, uh, but it does seem like uh, these are at least a couple potential landing spots for Yike. It seems like the market for him is still pretty strong. Seems like, uh, I don't know, just based off my speculation, what I'm seeing, it seems like we should hopefully be able to see him somewhere in 2025. Uh, and like I said, obviously G2 um, offering him up with no buyout definitely uh, really helps that position, kind of keeps him out of that McDonald's uh, contract jail type scenario. But Again, uh, obviously Giant X being very, very uh, forward in their uh, recruitment of uh, Yike. And obviously, I'm sure the K-Corp fans really, really want Yike as well. I'm sure Rogue fans or whatever that team's going to end up being next year would really appreciate him. Uh, and Wulu saying that, yes, these do seem to be the three teams that are interested in Yike at the moment. Um, so that's just kind of uh, the update we have on his future. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. Until then.
Peace. Everything we are doing here at Sheep Esports for the rest of 2024 is powered by Holy. Uh, this is an awesome company that makes great tasting energy drinks that also just so happen to be healthier than the competition as well. They sent me this starter set deluxe, which comes with a Holy shaker and then 14 individual servings of Holy energy, Holy hydration, and Holy iced tea. So you get a ton of awesome stuff uh, for a great price. And if you want to get even better price, check out the first link in the description below. Use discount code SE5 to get five euros off your first order or SE10 to get 10% off your entire basket. If you guys want to help continue uh, to allow us to provide the amazing coverage of both worlds uh, and the offseason that you guys uh, know and love, uh, definitely check out Holy, buy some stuff. It would mean the world to us. Thanks.